Hello. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hello, Selena, Karen. Karen, sorry. <laughs> Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you doing today? I'm really good. Excellent. What about you? I'm okay. Thank you. I'm okay. Thanks for asking. Let's see. Hi, Jenny. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you doing today? Very good. Very good. Excellent. Nice to hear that. That's great. Let's see who else is here. Ah, Sulema. Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine. Well, recuperándome también. Okay. Pero you are sick? I'm fine, sí. You are sick? Enferma? Sí, sí, estoy un poco mal de la garganta. Oh, oh my God. Sad to hear yeah. that. But thank God you are very good. Gracias, gracias. Excellent. Nice to have you here. Hello, Angel. I can see you are working. Está trabajando. Hola. Hello. Sí, sí. How are you today? Sí, trabajando. I am working. You are working. Yes. Okay. Nice to have you here. Thanks for being responsible. Thanks. Let's see. Hi, Gaby. Hello. Hi, teacher. Sorry, I have a problem with my audio. Don't worry. How are you doing today? Uh, so, so, I have a lot of work. Ah, oh, okay. Sad to hear that. I know that yes. is not so good, but thanks for being here. Excellent. Let's see Arlette. Hello. Hi. How are you today? Fine. Fine, excellent. Hi, Sandra Carolina. Hi, teacher. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. Okay, may I see your cameras, guys? Let's see Nancy, we have Arlette, Sandra, Karen. Nancy, hello. Nancy, are you here, Nancy Edith? Nancy's not here. Thank you, Arlette. I appreciate it. Thank you, Sandra Carolina. Okay, Nancy's not here. So, guys, let's start with the class. Se preguntarán qué vamos a hacer el día de ahora si ya no hay temas que ver la sección. Ya la terminamos, right? Pero vamos a hacer un review de todas las cosas que estuvimos aprendiendo durante estas semanas pasadas, ¿ok? Durante estas tres semanas, eso va a ser Vamos a estudiar toda esta semana, el contenido de las semanas pasadas. Vamos a tener muchas actividades y desde ya avisarles que vamos a tener exámenes sorpresa, ¿ok? Yo les voy a mandar un link, ustedes se meten, resolvemos el examen y ya, ¿ok? Para que estén pendientes. Así que quiero que hablen bastante porque tengo también speaking activities para que ustedes hablen en inglés, ¿ok? So let's begin with the class. Let me share my screen. Here you have it. Here you have it. Good afternoon, guys. Remember that I sent you a list of verbs. Les mandé una lista de verbos la semana pasada. Así que espero que los hayan estudiado. No que se los hayan aprendido todos, pero por lo menos lo hayan descargado, hayan dado una ojeadita ahí, right? Por lo menos. Porque ahora vamos a tener un dictado. Yo les voy a decir la palabra, el verbo en español y ustedes lo van a tener que escribir en inglés. ¿Ok? That will be the dictation practice for today. So right now, let's begin with this one. Do you know a lot of verbs? I have this question for you. Do you know a lot of verbs? ¿Saben qué significa este verbo? No. Saber. Exactly, saber. Entonces, la pregunta dice, ¿se saben bastantes verbos or not? Being honest. Sean honestos. Yes, no. Mm, so, so. <laughs> so, so. Okay, great. Arlette, also, so, so. Ajá. Zulema, what about you? Do you eh, know what Yo creo que pocos, teacher, pero pocos. voy a aprendérmelos. Few. Excellent. That's the attitude. Esa es la actitud. Let's see, Sandra Carolina, what about you? So, so, teacher. So, so. Okay, let's see, what about you, Karen? 
I think uh, many birds, but I know that I have to learn more. Excellent. That's so good. Perfect. Thank you so much. What about you, Angel? Do you know a lot of verbs or not? So-so. Uh, So-so. Okay. Great. Let's see, Jenny. What about you? So-so. So-so also. Okay. So right now, we are going to have an activity para calentar motores, right? Va a salir el verbo. Yo le voy a preguntar el verbo en español. Y ustedes me lo van a decir en inglés. Okay? So let's start with this part. Let's start with the first verb. It says correr. So guys, oops, how do you say correr in English? Wrong. 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 Exactly. Wrong. Can you create one sentence using the verb run? Only one. No one. No he is one run I, every day in the morning. Excellent. I can hear I run in the morning. I run every day. Excellent. Let's see. What about this one? Cero está. How do you say that in English? B. B. Exactly. That would be the verb B. Let me see. What is that verb? Ah, here we have. Can you create one sentence using the verb B, please? Only one sentence. Let's see, Arlette. Can you create one, please? <laughs> one sentence using the verb be. <laughs> uh -huh. Using an adjective, you can use. Remember adjectives? Uh huh. No, no se me ocurre ninguno, sorry. Ok, no problem. Let's see, Sandra, can you create one sentence using the verb be, please? Con be, no sé. Porque tendría que ser be tal cual, ¿verdad? No el is. ¿No en qué? ¿Perdón? Tiene que ser el be tal cual, ¿verdad? Ajá, pero puede conjugarlo también. Pueden ocuparlo con un adjetivo. How do you say yo soy bonita? Mm -hmm. How do you say that in English? I beautiful. Exactly. And you see, you are using the verb be. I am beautiful. I am exactly. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Sandra. Let's see the other one. How do you say dibujar in English? Do you know? Do you have an idea? Draw. draw. Draw, exactly. You say it, draw. This one that is right here. Look at it. Draw. Let's see. Uh, Jenny, can you create one sentence using draw, please? Hello? Hello. Sorry. Don't worry. ¿Cómo era la pregunta? Can you create one sentence using the verb draw? Dibujar. Draw. That means dibujar. I will type it. Dibujar. Mm -hmm. For example, Jenny, how do you say mi hermana está dibujando Una manzana, por ejemplo. How do you say that in English? My sister, my sister is raw um, over. Okay, one more time. Um, my sister is draw. Ajá. Uh, Hay que conjugar el verbo. En... Hay que agregarle ing. Está dibujando. Drawing. Drawing, exactly. Drawing. Drawing. They up. An apple. apple. Yes. Oh. An apple, exactly. My sister is drawing, drawing an, an apple. apple. Excellent. My sister is drawing an apple. Let's see, guys. How do you say hacer? Someone knows about it? How do you say that verb in English? Okay. 
Do. Exactly, the verb do. Let's see. Um, Karen, can you create one example using the verb do, please? I do my homework every day. Excellent. That was great. Let's see this one. Llegar a ser o convertirse en. Mm -hmm. A long verb. How do you say that in English? Convertirse en. I think it became. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the verb is okay, but you are conjugating that in the past. So it will uh, be in the present. It's become. <laughs> yes, it will be become. Okay, here you have it, the verb become. Let's see who can create one example using the verb become. Mm -hmm. One example, guys, using the verb become. Llegar a ser o convertirse en. Mm -hmm. Someone can help me. Do I have a volunteer or do I have to pick one volunteer? I have to pick. Yes, I have to pick. Okay, let me see who is going to be my volunteer. Let's see. Andreina, can you please create one sentence using the verb become? This one. Become. Become. Uh -huh. Yes, become. Es llegar a, llegar a ser o convertirse en. Eh, podría ser, she is become a teacher. Exactly. Solo que tenemos que conjugar el verbo, agregarle ing. Ok. She is. She is becoming. She is becoming. A teacher. A teacher, exactly. Excellent, Andreina. Thank you so much. She's becoming a teacher. What about this verb? How do you say comer in English? Something easy and delicious. Eat. 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 Exactly. Thank you. Raquel, can you create one example using the verb eat, please? Mm. I am... I am eating. Uh -huh. I am eating. Exactly. That would be a good example. Great. Let's see this one. How do you say vender? Arlet. How do you say vender in English? Mm -hmm. Vender. Buy. Mm -hmm. That would be comprar. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Yes. It's it no Sell. 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 Este que vemos aquí es vender. Sell. Let's see. Who can create one example? Let's see, Arlette. Can you create one using the verb sell? I want you to participate, Arlette. <laughs> ah, the verb sell. I sell my car. Excellent. I sell my car. Good example. I like it. Excellent. Thank you so much. Let's see. How do you say cantar, guys? In English. Sing. Exactly. Sing. It will be sing. Hello, Rocio. Can you create one sentence using this verb, please? Hello, teacher. I don't like sing singing. I don't like Singing. Singing. Okay. Yes, I don't like singing. Great. Good example. Awesome. Great. Let's see this one, guys. How do you say escribir in English? Right. Right. Exactly. This one right here. Quiero que tengan cuidado con la pronunciación de eso. Porque la mayoría de gente, y hasta me incluyo yo en la lista, decimos a veces, great, great. Y la pronunciación de ese verbo es como que si la W fuera muda. Entonces solo decimos right, ¿ok? Right, como cuando decimos derecha en inglés, right. La pronunciación va a ser igual, escribir y derecha, ¿ok? Right and right. Excellent. Be careful with that pronunciation, ¿ok? Let's see the other one. How do you say saltar, guys? Jump. Jump, exactly. Can you create one example, please, Andreina? Um... 
jump. I I I can jump. I jump. can't. I can't. Jump. Exactly. Yes, I can jump. Good. Let's see. How do you say beber in English? O tomar. Drink. 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 Exactly. Let me see who else is here. I have right here Sulema. Sulema, can you create one example with the verb drink? Eh, sería, I'm drinking soda. Exactly. Good example. Great. Let's see this verb. Dormir. How do you say that in English? Sleep. Sleep. Excellent. That is dormir. Let's see. Who else is here? I have right here Lisandro. Hello, Lisandro. Can you create one sentence with the verb dormir, please? Hola, teacher. Buenas noches. Hi. Um, I am sleeping now. I am sleeping off. Exactly. Good example, Lisandro. Exactly. Great. Thank you so much. And this one. Okay. Let's see. Uh, we were missing comprar. How do you say? Bye. Yes, Angel. No, okay, it was a mistake. So, guys, how do you say comprar in English? Buy. Buy. Can you create one example, please? Only one? No example. I buy a new cell phone. Excellent. I buy a new cell phone. Great. So right now, I want you to be ready because we are going to have a quiz. Okay? We are going to have a little, little exam. I will send you one link. Okay? And I want you to enter to the link. There are going to be only, only 15 questions. Okay? Only 15 questions. I will send you the link and I want you to enter. Just give me a second because it is loading. Okay? You will have only two minutes to enter. Please write one name and one last name. I will send it in the chat so that you can enter to the quiz. Here you have it. This is the link. So please enter. Please enter one name and one last name. One name and one last name. Okay. Remember that this has time. Este quiz tiene tiempo por pregunta. ¿Qué van a encontrar por pregunta? Yo les voy a poner una oración en español y ustedes van a escoger La respuesta correcta. Tres opciones, ¿ok? Be careful with the punctuation. ¿Ok? With the punctuation and also with the grammar. So, please, enter to the link. You are going to have two minutes. Two minutes to enter, ¿ok? Here you have the timer. Here we have Carolina. Excellent. Here we have another person, Jenny. I want you to enter to the link, one name and one last name. And we are ready to start. Remember, only 15, 45, sorry. Van a tener 45 segundos por respuesta, por pregunta, sorry. We have Angel and Karen, okay? Solo 45 segundos por pregunta. Solo el nombre vamos a poner. Sí, puede poner solo el nombre o solo un nombre y un apellido. Okay, the two options are okay. So please hurry up and enter to the class. To the class, to the exam. You are missing almost one minute only. And uh, teacher, please, podría enviar el link uh, en WhatsApp, por favor. Es que tengo un problema porque estoy conectada de la tablet. Okay, uh, solo voy a dejar entonces de compartir mi pantalla para meterme a WhatsApp, okay? Give me a second and I will send it through WhatsApp right now. Here we have right here, Raquel Abigail. Excellent. Ya se lo envío. Gaby, solo déjeme que me cargue. 
que WhatsApp es un poquito lento. Gracias, Hicho. Excelente. And the rest, ¿y los demás? What are the rest? What is the rest of the people? Ok. Aquí se los mando. Ahí está el link. There you have it. I will continue sharing my screen. And there you go. Perfect. I'm right here. Stephanie. I have more people. Lisandro, Lisandro. <laughs> and that face, I don't know what is it. Okay, you are missing three seconds only. Hurry up, please. Hurry up. Gaby, ¿pudo entrar? Gaby. Um, no, no cayó el link. No cayó. No le creo. Ahorita. Let me see. What about now? Yes? Yes. Excellent. Thank you. Excellent. Ok, solo vamos a esperar a Gaby. Porque fue mi culpa porque no se envió el link. Me avisa Gaby, porfa, para empezar. Yes. Permíteme. Yes. We have 10 people right here. Zulema, Karen, Nancy Edith, Carolina, Arlette. We have Angel, Stephanie, Raquel, Jenny, and Lisandro. And the rest of the people? Only 10. Solo hay 10 conectados y tengo 14 personas aquí. Okay. Ya, yeah, teacher. Ya, yeah. okay, vamos a empezar entonces. There you go. Good luck, guys. Good luck. I will be here checking everything. Good. Carolina, Karen, Arlette, Lisandra, Zulema. Excellent. Recuerden que tienen tiempo, chicos. Tienen segundos por pregunta. Solo nos falta Raquel Abigail. Alexi. Uh -huh. Raquel Abigail. Es que se me trabó la pregunta. Ay, so sorry. Es que... So time is up in the question. So we are going to move on into the next one. Let's move on into the other one. Second question. It will be this one. How do you say chatear? Mm -hmm. We are missing Stephanie Orellana. Mm. And you have it. Excellent. Thank you. Let's see. Question number three. How do you say apagar? Mm -hmm. How do you say apagar? Let's see, we are missing only Nancy Edith. Nancy Edith, excellent. Okay, all of you have it correct. Excellent. I like it a lot. Let's see the other one. Ella está enseñando. Be careful with the punctuation. Okay? Punctuation is important. Mm 
Let's see who is missing. Everyone. Okay, let's see question number five. Question number five. Ellos están aprendiendo. Están más difíciles, Picha. <ríe> Hay otra que es más larga, ¿ok? <ríe> Let's see, let's continue with the next question that I have right here for you. Ellos están en la piscina. Be careful with the preposition. That is the thing, the preposition. Pretty correct. Excellent. Mm -hmm. We're missing Karen, Lisandro, and Raquel Abigail is missing now. Excellent. So let's move on into the other one. Question number seven, it will be. How do you say nosotros somos tres? How do you say that? In English, for sure. Excellent. Good. The majority of you that... Ella está pensando. Be careful with the punctuation. Or correct. Six correct. Okay, remember that you have only ten seconds now to finish. Good. Let's see the other one. Question number nine, I think. We are about to finish. Okay, that's cool. How do you say esta falda es color amarilla? Yes? What's going on, Arlette? <laughs> okay, let's see question number 10. We're about to finish. How do you say, estoy ocupando una camisa azul? How do you say that in English? Good. We are missing, let's see. Arlette is missing. Okay, Raquel Abigail. Now, everything. Everything is done. Let's see. Question number 11. Number 11. How do you say ellas no están jugando football? Uh-huh, let's see who is missing. No one. 
Let's move on into number 12. We are about to finish. We are missing only three questions more. And later, we'll finish answering these questions. El vestido celeste está debajo de la cama. Uh -huh. How do you say that? Too correct. Good angel in Rosa Elba. See who else? Gavi also. Good, I like it. Let's see, we're missing Lisandro and Raquel and Rocio. We are done. Let's move on into 13. The question number 13. How do you say hola? Yo soy de Italia. Excellent. Everyone got it correct. I like it. I'm I feel happy when you have it correct. Let's see. 14. This one, one more, and you are done. Ella está usando lentes. Mm -hmm. Be careful with punctuation, guys. Punctuation is important. Number 15, and the last one that we have right here. The last one, and you are almost free. <laughs> Ella es pequeña y hablantina. Basically, the teacher, right? Pequeña en hablantina. Let's see. Let's see. What about this one? Good. Okay, Angel, Carolina, Stephanie, Lisandro, Rocío. Okay, we're missing Stephanie Abigail. No, Jennifer Abigail. Good. Excellent. You finish with this one. Ok, guys. Terminaron. Aquí tenemos las primeras cinco posiciones. Tenemos Angel at the first place. Congratulations. Then we have Zulema. Great. Congrats. No lo puedo creer. <laughs> Excellent. At number three, we have Sandra Carolina. Great, Caro. Excellent. Number four, we have Karen. And five, Stephanie Orellana. Excellent. Congratulations. Now, ¿qué vamos a hacer ahorita? Vamos a ver la respuesta correcta. Y si tienen preguntas, me la dicen ahorita, ¿ok? Que por qué no fue esta y por qué esta. Ahorita lo vemos, ¿ok? Vista previa. Let me see. Give me a second and I will... Oh, my God. Do it a little bit bigger. Okay, there you go with this. Teacher, hubiera puesto, hubiera puesto los puntajes de nosotros. No, only the first five. No le haga caso, teacher. No le haga caso. The first five. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, let's see this one. How do you say correr, guys? A, B, or C? A. A, exactly. We say it wrong. We say it wrong. Let's see the other one. How do you say chatear? Text, play, or chat? chat. Yes, Lisandro? Sí. Sí, it will be chat. ¿Por qué no text? ¿Alguien sabe por qué no text? Mm -hmm. Text is when you send a message. A message, exactly. You are texting, right? Texteando, decimos en español. Exactly. Good, Cali. Let's see the other one. How do you say apagar? Este creo que no estaba en la lista. Mm -hmm. How do you say apagar? Turn off. Turn off. Turn off. Exactly. Turn off. Turn off. Sorry. Turn off. Excellent. Encender. ¿Cómo decimos encender? Encender. Sorry. 
Turn on. Turn on. Turn on. Exactly. You have it right there. Turn on. Good. This one. Here we go with the best ones. How do you say ella está enseñando? A, B, or C? C, C. Letter C. She is teaching. Exactly. ¿Por qué no podría ser numer la, la número uno? Why? Por... Porque estamos hablando de singular, solo es ella. No puede llevar el R. Exactly. Yes. You are totally right, Andreina. Let's see. ¿Por qué no puede ser la número dos? Porque como es este, porque es minúscula la el Exacto. Es minúscula y no tenemos punto al final. Entonces, no está correcta. Solo la última opción. Let's see this one. Ellos están aprendiendo. How do you say that? A, B, or C? B. B. They are learning. Exactly. ¿Preguntas con respecto a estas dos chicos? ¿O todo claro? Yo todas las tengo buenas, teacher. No sé okay. por qué no parece. Ok, buenas. good. Congratulations for you. Excellent. Let's see. How do you say this one? Ellos están en la piscina. Aquí. Be careful with the preposition, I said, right? The preposition. ¿Cuál es la respuesta correcta, chicos? In the, the la A. Exactly. They are in the pool. ¿Por qué no puede ser la B, Lisandro? Porque... On is sobre. Exactly. What about the last one? They are under the pool. Um, debajo. Exactly. Uh, debajo. Exactly. So that is why it cannot be like that. Excellent. Let's see this one. Nosotros somos tres. Aha. <clears throat> Which one is the correct one, guys? C. Sí. Letter C, exactly. Be careful, les dije en los números cuando estamos estudiando. Cuando lleva H, estamos hablando del número. Si no lleva H, decimos libro, libro, árbol. <laughs> Sorry, yes, it will be árbol. Es como que dijéramos árbol. Excellent. Let's see the other one. How do you say ella está? Pensando. Mm -hmm. She's talking. She's talking? She's thinking. She's thinking. Exactly. exactly. It will be A, B, or C. Uh -huh. A and B. Las dos primeras. Exactly. A, a and B. The two of them are okay. En una lo tenemos contratado. En B. En la B la tenemos contactado y en la otra de manera de escritura normal. Good. Esta no puede ser porque se dan cuenta, el verbo no está bien conjugado. Tenemos thinning. Ok. That is not the correct conjugation. Let's see the other one. Esta falda es color amarilla. How do you say that in English, guys? A, B, or C? Mm -hmm. Sí. 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 Exactly. It will be C. This skirt is yellow. Let me see, Jenny. Why it is not correct the letter A? Mm -hmm. Why? El A or R. Exactly. ¿Alguien más sabe por qué la A no está correcta? Muchas gracias, Jenny. That is a correct answer. Esa la tuve mala. Ah, no, que todas que, correctas. Ajá. Imagino que, que ahí porque está la palabra color, se sobreentiende que hielo es un color. Yes, no. it could be. Also, remember, we are using right here this. Eso. Y eso lo ocupamos para plural. Plural. Exactly. Lo ocupamos para plural. Entonces, si ocupamos este this, Skirt tendría que ir con S, hacerlo plural. Entonces sería these skirts are yellow. Exactly. That is why that is not correct. Let's see the other one. Estoy ocupando una camisa azul. How do you say that in English? I'm wearing a 
blue shirt. I'm wearing a blue shirt. Exactly. Letter B. This one, it cannot be porque tenemos el verb be y no hemos conjugado el verbo wear. Entonces no podemos ocupar esta. This other one. I wear shirt blue. Remember, adjectives in English goes, go first. Adjective goes first. Va primero el adjetivo y después tenemos el sustantivo que está modificando. En este caso sería blue shirt. ¿Ok? No shirt blue. Let's move on into the other one. Ellas no están jugando fútbol. How do you say that? Hey, they are not playing football. They are not playing football. It will be letter A. Exactly. This one. Let's see. She is playing not the football. No, right? Because we are talking about ellas. Plural. Recuerden que ellas en inglés lo decimos they. Puede ser ellas o ellos. They. Y aquí no puede ser la puede letra ser la C porque tenemos el not después. They are not. Recuerden que va they are not. ¿Ok? Por eso no está correcta esa. Let's see the other one. How do you say el vestido celeste está debajo de la cama? This one. How do you say this one? Sí. <coughs> The light blue dress is under the bed. Exactly. That's totally correct. ¿Por qué no puede ser el primero? Let's see, Arlette. ¿Por qué no podemos tener correcta la primera? Porque dice next, next to. Exactly. Y además, el dress no está escrito correctamente. Exactly. Good, Arlette. Thank you so much. Number two, ¿por qué no puede ser number two, guys? Yes. Jenny, you want to say something? Uh -huh. No sabe. No hay Porque problema. Lleva... Porque blue. Va después de, dream, de dress. Va de, exacto. Y para decirlo de manera correcta, tiene que ir antes el adjetivo. Die like. Ajá, igual like. Blue dress is under the back. Exactly. Yes. Totally right. Thank you so much, Jenny. Let's see this one. This one was easy for you, right? Hola, yo soy de Italia. How do you say that in English? Something easy for you, right? Let's see, Zulema. Sí, ¿verdad? I am from Italy. Exactly. Yes. Thank you so much. We cannot say I am to Italy porque cuando queremos decir de dónde venimos, nuestro país de origen, ocupamos from. ¿Ok? I am from bla, bla, bla. This one, letter B. It cannot be because this is in Spanish, right? I are. Imagine saying I are. We use I am. ¿Ok? I are de Italy, right? We are mixing languages right here. So that is not correct. Let's see the other one. How do you say es, ella está usando lentes? Aha, uh -huh. it can be letter A. She is using glass. Aha. En ese me equivoqué. Okay. Can you tell me the correct letter answer? B. Is the letter B? Letter B, exactly. It cannot be letter C because remember I told you be careful with punctuation and we don't have a period at the end. We don't have the final period. And this one, remember, we don't say using, okay? We say wearing. That is the reason why. Let's see. And the last one that we have right here. How do you say ella es pequeña y hablantina? Teacher, perdón. Yes. ¿Por qué, no era, ¿Por qué no era C en la anterior? Because we don't have the final period. Punto final. Oh. That is the reason why. Yes. Ah, eso, eso. Yo se lo hubiera puesto, por eso me equivoqué. 
<laughs> you see, you have to be careful with punctuation. Let's see this one. Ella es pequeña y hablantina. How do you say this one? Mm -hmm. Sí. Letter C. She's short and talkative. Excellent. Why it cannot be letter A? ¿Por qué no puede ser la letra A? Porque no usamos small para la descripción de personas. Amazing. Excellent, Gaby. That is the reason why. Remember, small is for clothes. Para ropa, right? Mm -hmm. O para describir objetos. Mi teléfono mm -hmm. es pequeño. My cell phone is small. Excellent. So, guys, that was it about this quiz. ¿Tienen preguntas o dudas al respecto? Nos va a poner puntos, teacher. <laughs> Ay, Lisa. Mira, se me pierde lo que estamos conectados. Yes, I can see it. You are only for 14. Yes, only 14. Imagine at the beginning you were 25, I remember. And now only 14. But that is great. You are learning things. Let's see now. Um, we are going to start with the dictation practice. They are going to be only 10 verbs. Okay, so please take out your notebook, a piece of paper, a page or something like that, and not a pen or a pencil. Okay, and I will start. I will say them only two times because I will say it in Spanish. And for sure, you are going to translate. Okay? La digo en español. Ustedes lo escriben en inglés. Okay? So let's start. Number one, escribir. Number one, escribir. Number two, jugar. Number two, jugar. Number three, encender. Number three, encender. Number four, tener. Number four, tener. Number five, comer. Number five, Comer. Number six. Tomar o beber. Tomar o beber. Number seven. Pintar. Number seven. Pintar. Number eight. Amar. Number eight, amar. Number nine, romper. Number nine, romper. And the last one, llegar. Okay? Llegar. And that was it. Any question about it? Do you want me to repeat any word? No. Number four. Number four. One, two, three, four. Tener. The verb is tener. Okay. Any other one? No. Only that one. Okay. You will have only two minutes. That is too much, right? But I will give you two minutes. To send me a picture, a photo, an image, the thing you want. Okay? Only two minutes to send me the picture. Only two. Thank you so much. I have right here one. Let's see Stephanie. Right, play, turn on, have, eat, drink, paint, break, and write. Good. Oops. Let's see. Good. Let's see the other one. Okay, entender. Okay, it was encender, right? Play, turn on, have it, dream, pain. No. Okay, Caro, let's see Caro. Right, 
break arrive. Okay, good. Let's see Sulema. I like your letter, Sulema. Write, play, turn on, drink, paint, love, break, and come. Okay. Let's see. And here we have Rocio. Write, play, like. Okay. Let me see the time. We are about to finish, guys. So please send me the picture. You are missing only 40 seconds. The rest, the one who, who are missing. The ones who are missing. Okay. What I can see, guys, un error que vi. Seguido. Okay, remember, el verbo pintar. We say it paint, okay? Paint. It will be with T at the end, okay? It will be paint with T at the end. Another one, llegar. It will be arrive, okay? Arrive means llegar, arrive. En el otro grupo, cuando yo dije llegar, me escribieron go. Pero go es irse. Okay, lo contrario de llegar. Ok. Por yo me equivoqué, teacher, porque yo puse come. Exacto, a explicarlo iba. Come. Come. ¿Qué es come? Es venir. Ok. You come to my house. Vienes a mi casa. You come to my house. Good. I like... I like... All the answers you got, that was so good. Excellent. One thing I said, encender, right? No, entender. Entender. How do you say that in English? Entender. No understand? Knows? Understand, exactly. That is the correct way. Understand. It was encender, no entender, okay? And let's see the last one. La número nueve. Dije yo, romper. Romper in English, we say it break. Ok, break. Quiero que vayan a repasar los verbos porque otro día de estos vamos a tener un dictado de nuevo, pero esta vez les voy a dictar oraciones en español y ustedes las van a escribir en inglés. Ok. Y que vayan a repasar todo el vocabulario que hemos visto. Preposiciones, colores, ropa, clima, ¿ok? All the seasons also. Porque esta semana de eso se va a tratar. Y si tienen alguna pregunta con respecto al primer tema que vimos, desde el primer tema hasta el último, esta es la semana en la que pueden decirme todas sus preguntas y dudas. ¿Ok? So now that we are are all clear about it. Let's move on into the last activity that I have right here for you. So sorry for this one. This is not a uh, full HD, right? So sorry for that. But we're going to start with this activity. What is going to be it about? It's going to be about matching. Okay, ¿saben qué significa matching? Or match? Emparejar. Emparejar. Exactly. We are going to match the number with the letter, okay? Look at the directions that I have right here for you. Let's see, who can help me? Let's see, Karen, can you help me reading the directions, please? Uh, are you from Ma Malaysia? Sorry, I can't see. Yeah, no, I mean the directions, this part. Oh. Please okay. match the questions with the answers. To, then ask and answer the questions with a partner. Answer with your own information. Excellent. Thank you so much. In this case, we are going to do only the first part. It's going to be about match the questions with the answers. Okay. So look at it. Here we have the first example. Are you from Malaysia? Y después ustedes van a ir a buscar. Una respuesta que tenga sentido, right? That makes sense. Porque si yo contesto, it's very beautiful. 
Are you, are you from Malaysia? La respuesta no puede ser, es muy bonito, right? No. Si sí, soy, no soy de España, ok. De España, <ríe> de Malasia. Sorry. Entonces, aquí tenemos que fue la respuesta número, well, the letter H. No, I'm not. I'm from Thailand. Ok. Entonces, van a tener only three minutes to do so. Only three. No more than three. Three is enough for you because you already know this. So look at it. Only three. Oops, sorry for that, that message. Only three minutes to do so. So please, hurry up and help me. If you finish before the time, si terminan antes del tiempo, please tell me. Okay, here you have the timer. 30 seconds. You are missing only one minute, guys. Only one minute. So hurry up, please. I already finished. Okay, thank you so much, Karen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are missing only 20 seconds, okay? So let, let's just wait a little bit. Four, three, two, one, and three minutes are done. Did you finish, guys? Did you finish all of them, the eight questions, or not? Being honest. No, teacher, i confused. You are confused. Okay, do you need help, Gabby? Um, yes, with the question three. Question three. Let's see. It says, what is your hometown like? Okay. Did okay, no entendió la pregunta. Okay, la pregunta sería ¿Cómo es tu ciudad o tu pueblo? Okay? ¿Cómo es? ¿Es grande, es chiquita, es bonita, es fea, es bulliciosa, es tranquila? Okay? That is the thing. Okay. <laughs> Did you finish guys or not? No, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. teacher. Yes, Sulema. Okay. Yes. Yes, lady. Teacher. Yes. Okay. That was so good. So now I think that it is time to go. 
So if you finish, congrats, you are free of homework assignments. But if you don't finish, so sorry for you, this is going to be your homework assignment, okay? For tomorrow, mañana lo vamos a resolver durante la clase. For tomorrow, guys, please study present continuous and prepositions. We are going to be talking about that. Present continuous and prepositions of place, okay? So I think that that's going to be all for today. Please study all the things as much as you can. Eat in English, dream in English, and do everything in English, okay? So hope to see you tomorrow. Have a very impatient night. Sweet dreams. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow. Please study a lot.